This video is about how to use my accumulative recorder program from 1988. It can be downloaded from my webpage. The accumulative recorder was invented by B.F. Skinner in the 1920s. Uh, it was a mechanical instrument used for recording behavior. One of the advantages of the accumulative recorder is that changes in the rate of responding can be observed as they occur in real time. Um, this makes it actually possible to measure the effects consequences have on behavior. I made several variations of uh, cumulative recorder programs for computers in the uh, 1980s. Uh, I primarily used it for analysis of video recordings of different types of uh, behavior. It can also be used as an event recorder. For example, I used a variation of this program that ran for a week to automatically record the frequency of automobile traffic on a private road on my property. My recorder can record and draw curves for two different responses simultaneously. It's also possible to um, add an annotation or mark to each of the curves while recording. Uh, this mark could indicate some important change in the situation, for example, that uh, reinforces are no longer presented after behavior, etc., and so forth. In 1996, I added to the program the ability to save the recording as a PCX graphic file. Apparently, quite a few people are actually using this rather antique program throughout the world. The program can be downloaded from my home page. It's, uh, let's see, it's under Data Programmer. It's in Norwegian. Um, Regus Jennings Programmer. Killer Recorder Program for Recording Behavior and Analysis of Video Recordings. Some in English and Norwegian. It's a video clip from my old film. And it's here. You see, I download the thing. It's a zip file, so you'll need to, to uh, unzip it and uh, save it somewhere, for example, on your desktop or whatever. Uh, the file is named uh, CUMVGA4 with a file extension EXE. Now this is a very old program and it can have problems with some computers. Uh, to avoid problems you should want to do the following before you run it. You take and right click on it. Now this is in Norwegian but it's the uh, same positions in English. It's, uh, this is properties. You click on properties and then you find compatibility and here it says compatibility modus uh, share that programming compatibility that's modus for on the, run this program in the compatibility modus for and then you choose that and Windows 95 for example and then you take uh, use or do it or whatever it is okay so then we run the program if you get some warning like this you just ignore it now when you run the program, the first you should see is this screen. The program is producing random cumulative curves and random annotations or vertical marks. If you see this, then the program is working properly. On an old 286 machine, it took about 20 or 30 seconds to make one of these random curves. Uh, you get to the next screen by pre pressing Enter. Uh, then you get some instructions in rather bad English and bad Norwegian um, pressing enter you get to the next screen and here you enter the length of the recording we'll just leave it at a minute for now but um, if you leave if you enter 10,080 so it'll run for a week press enter and you come to the next screen where you enter the y-axis increment this is how big the step for each response will be on the curve. We'll just leave it at 1 for the time being. When we press enter, and then you come to the recorder. Pressing enter starts the recorder. Now you see the line at the bottom is moving at a constant speed towards the right. It will take exactly one minute to reach the right side. Had we entered 10,080, it would have taken a week. Responses on the black curve are made by pressing the S key. I'm doing that now. This makes the black curve go up a step each time. Responses on the red curve are made by pressing the X or the plus key. 
I'm doing that now, and you see it's going up. Pressing F puts a black mark on the black uh, curve, and pressing M puts a red mark on the red curve. You can later add descriptive text to these marks in a graphic editing program. Pause is toggled on and off by pressing the P key. I've done that now, and now it's in pause. At the bottom of the screen, there's some information about different things. For example, how long the program has been running, the number of responses on the S key, the number of responses on the X key, the length of the recording, uh, and a reminder about which keys have which functions. The total number of responses for the S key are shown in the, at the left in black, and the total number of responses on the X key are shown in red at the left. As mentioned before, marks can be placed on the curve to indicate important changes in the recording situation. This could be, for example, a change in the consequence presented after a behavior. While the program is paused, it is possible to save the image as a PCX file by pressing the S key. Now this is an old program and you will not, you're not allowed to enter file names with more than eight characters. So you enter the file name and press enter and um, press Y for yes and enter. P6 files are automatically saved with the CUM extension. This needs to be changed later. This is where the file will be saved in this directory here. After you save the file, you must go out of the recorder program and change the extension from CUM to PCX. And you can also give it a longer name if you wish. The PCX files must be converted to modern bitmap files with a BMP extension. I use a free program, Earphone View, for doing this.